So this question is for ages. Unit wise weightage for CSI and life science examination. 13 units are out there. And among 13 units, which are the units which carries maximum weightage and the units which are lesser weightage. Now here we will divide into two different sections. One is the above average units and another one is the below average units. Above average units are those units. Above average units are those units where the number of questions asked for the last uh, examination from 2019 to 2023. So 19, 20, 22 and 23, 4. And so total 8 examination, 4 years. So total 8 examination, what is the number of percentage of question asked from that? And if that is above the average or that is below the average, based on that we'll calculate. So here we go with the screen that you can clearly see. And we have this list of the 13 units and above average unit and below average unit based on the clear data that I'm giving you, right? So, uh, you can see the total question was 98 and the percentage of the questions total received is 8 out of the total 100%. So 8% is above average because all you can do is that 100% uh, divided by 13 units gives us 7.69 or 7.7. .7. So 7.7% is actually the average percentage uh, for any unit to be asked question from in CSN and life science examination, right? 7.7%. So any unit that is above 7.75, 7.7% uh, will be considered as above average unit and unit of importance or any unit that is below 7.7 percentage will be counted as below average unit. So here we can clearly see that we have this 8% for unit 1 that is above average. Uh, then we have this unit 2, 6.5 percentage which is below 6.7 that is below average unit. Unit 3, molecular biology, 9.2 percent above average unit and in fact it's a very very important unit. Next is unit 4, 7.9 which is also more than 7.7 .7, so above average unit, unit 4 that is immunology and host pathogen interaction cell signaling. Unit 5 scoring 7.8, the average is 7.7 .7, so again above average, unit 5 is developmental biology. Unit 6 plant physiology scoring 9.2 which is huge, uh, more than 7.7 .7, which is average so it is much above average. In fact, unit 3 and unit 6 are equally the most important units of CSN and life science syllabus. Then unit 7 uh, is scoring 8.5 which is also good above average unit. Unit 8 scoring 8.3 which is more than 7.7 .7, so that is also an above average unit. Unit 8 is genetics, unit 7 is animal physiology. Unit 9 classification biology scores 6.9 which is less than 7.7 .7, so this is a below average unit. Then unit 10 ecology and environmental biology scoring 8 which is more than 7.7 .7, another above average unit. Next is unit 11, evolutionary biology scoring 6.9, very close to 6.7. So it's kind of average unit, but still we call it below average because 7.7 .7 is the average value. This is 6.9, so it's a below average unit. Next one is unit 12, applied biology. 4.4% of the question asked from applied biology, which is much, much lower than the average value 7.7. .7. So it's a below average unit. Next, 13, unit 13, that is... Uh, the biological techniques scoring 8.2 which is above 7.7 .7 values above average unit. So all the units above average are unit 1, unit 3, unit 4, unit 5, unit 6, unit 7, unit 8, unit 10 and unit 13. There are four below average units, unit 2, unit 9, unit 11 and unit 12. 2, 9, 11, 12. So those who ask me what are the eight or nine units that you should prepare then rest of the all above average unit is something that you should always focus on preparing for the examination so you can exclude these four units prepare rest of the nine units and that will be good for you because the number of questions you can get from those units are much much more than these other four units now the next thing is that the highest weightage carrying units are unit 3 molecular biology and unit 6 plant physiology both with the highest value 9.2 percent of the questions so approximately 20 percent of the question will be from these two units molecular biology 
and plant physiology. So those who complain that we attend the exam and most of the questions are from botany or molecular biology, because the number of questions, this is a serious data that you are getting and that is the reality of the data that you are getting. Maximum question from these units, okay? 20% of that. So if you exclude unit 3 or unit 6, you are excluding 20% chance of answering all these questions. So all those 20% questions are gone. Now you have 80% of the whole syllabus, right? So that is why prepare wisely by knowing the unit-wise weightage of all the 13 units of CSN and Life Science syllabus.